YouTube clips that depict dangerous, or emotionally distressing, pranks have been banned from the platform. The move comes in response to so-called challenges that have sometimes resulted in death or injury. The Google-owned video sharing site said such material had no place on YouTube. However, the firm appears to be failing to enforce its existing rules on harmful content. A BuzzFeed report detailed how images depicting a loading tool, bestiality, were still appearing on the site despite a piece. Ledge last April to remove the material. Some of the videos had attracted many millions of views. YouTube said it worked to aggressively enforce our monetization policies to eliminate the incentive for this abuse, but enforcing its no rules on pranks may prove even more difficult, given ambiguity over what may or may not be considered harmful. YouTube is home to many beloved viral challenges and pranks. A message added to the site's sex section read, That said, we have always had policies to mark clearly sure what's funny does not cross the line into also being harmful or dangerous. Our community guidelines prohibit content that encourages dangerous activities that are likely to result in serious harm, and today clarifying what this means for dangerous challenges and pranks. From now on, the site said it would not allow videos that featured pranks with the perceived danger of serious physical injury. This includes pranks where someone is tricked into thinking they are a severe danger, even if no real threat existed. The site added, we also do not allow pranks that cause children to experience severe emotional distress, meaning something so bad that it could leave the child traumatized for life. YouTube said it had worked closely with child psychologists on what might constitute a traumatic experience. It did not post a full list, but said it included scenarios where a child is tricked into believing their parents had died. The new rules come in response to several instances of pranks, understands that are seriously ill advised at best, and deadly at worst. In May, Minnesota woman Mona Lisa Perez, 20, was sentenced to six. Months in prison after shooting dead her boyfriend, Mariel Reyes. The couple had hoped video was their stand, in which an encyclopedia was meant to protect Mr. Reyes, would go viral on New Talk. Also last year, the American Association of Poison Control Centers reported a spike in reported cases of illness from detergent ingestion following a craze that had pickly tin pots containing laundry detergent. It prompted the product's maker, Procter & Gamble, to enlist the help of American football star Rob Gronkowski to front a public awareness campaign on social media. More recently, a challenge inspired by a scene in Netflix show Bird Box involved carrying out activities such as driving while blindfolded. At least one person is known to have crashed as a result followed deadly on Twitter at DAVLABBC.